Hey guys, I'm Scar here, and welcome back to another episode of the uh, Potato for Your Thoughts podcast. Today I'm with Mr. Jam Doggy, one of my amazing Hello. stream mods, and also Hello. the one I've known for a long time. Since like 2016. It's been two or three years, sadly. Uh, yeah. I mean, um... Wow. <laughs> you know and You know what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> wow, I see how it is, Scar. I'm sorry. Okay, continue. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're back. Got another uh, little little podcast, boyo. Um, so, Jam, why don't you start off Hello? by uh, telling the lovely humans how we met? <laughs> oh, boy. I knew you were going to ask me this question. Okay. Uh... <laughs> uh, let me get on my script. <laughs> so... Well. Oh. Okay, back in 2016, this involved Skype. Uh, all the so... stories that I start that, that people have said is like it all started with Skype, and it also started with me being a creepy little child. Uh, <laughs> Pranked, you but, still okay. are. Oh man. Okay, I have to go like way. Okay, so many years before this, many I ago. got gotten into Minecraft Blender animating, and I think I stumbled across Creeper's rig tutorials at one point. And had his name for some reason in the back of my head. And so I went to search some other YouTuber and accidentally typed his name in. And I think I started watching his videos because I was like, oh, okay. And uh, I think the first, first video I watched of his was that animation of you and him doing Sky Wars. Oh my gosh, that is my favorite ever. Yeah. It's so that good. Was, Mm. And I remember you did the do not try not to laughs too in Minecraft. That was those are fun. I still remember those. To be alive. We, we 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 should still do those. Those those looked fun at least. <laughs> they looked but... fun. They probably you probably <laughs> hated them on the inside, but they looked fun. Yeah. It looks fun. I mean, <laughs> that's there's not much you can, uh, or more that you can say. Oh, I do that. Here we go. Um, and so from there, I. Hold up. I just got really self conscious. Okay, yeah, my Discord is set up correctly. Uh, <laughs> so from there, I ended up started. I started to watch Scar's channel because he was in the recommended, and I thought he was funny too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's, I basically, yeah. So then I harassed him in his comments section to <laughs> add me on Mindplex, <laughs> <laughs> and then we. I think I joined his uh, game of Mindfucks at some point, and then some stuff happened, and I found his Skype, which, by the way, I literally just searched his name, okay? <laughs> I wasn't being too creepy. I, I, okay. Uh, so, anyways, I added on Skype, said hi, he said hi, and then eventually we got ended up getting a call with Cad and some other people, I think. And... I have no idea. I couldn't have told you how we met, honestly. Yeah, oof. Uh, well, from there, I think eventually, uh, we, you invited me to the MLG UHC season four, I want to say, season Hold up, let me pull up my logs of every season UHC you've ever done. Season three or season done. four? Hold what up, I can find this out. Let me see the okay. first, okay, control F, find Armor? jam. It was season four, and in season four of the UHC... Yeah. It was the first season um, with the 1.9 combat. I remember you, that. You and you got nothing. Yeah, I died. You didn't really win. Fast. You didn't get any kills. Yeah, just like usual. <laughs> Oof. You never um, got. Uh, a, you, didn't, you, you never got a kill until season nine. <laughs> yeah, and season nine I almost won. Did but, you? Uh, yeah, I was second place. Hmm. Me and uh, Joan, Joan, Jonas, Jonah were Jonah. the only people alive. And we could have teamed. I'm still mad about that. We could have teamed and won the game together. <laughs> but we didn't know that we were the only people alive until yep. I died. That was annoying. That's how it works. But, so anyways, I was invited. I think me and Kate had some fights. Because uh, we didn't really know each other. And we fought about something. I don't remember. Kate got in a lot of people's nerves and vice versa. Yeah. Also, he was his voice back then. I never Ooh. realized how much his voice changed unless until I watched yep. older videos. Yep. Same with Anthony. If you watch some of his old, like like that Crazy Craft series yeah. that me, him, and Anthony oh did. My oh my God. goodness. His his voice. He was a completely different person. He they both of them he were like super squeaky. 
I, I was never, see. I wasn't, I was never was, squeaky, but my voice has I, changed. When I, when I watch like my really old videos, like my inflection and just the way I talk too, not just my pitch. Hey guys, just everything about my voice. I can't talk. You walk in the hey, yeah. And the way I talked actually gets on my nerves. <laughs> it's so annoying to me. But anyway, so I remember you were like kind of resenting Discord a bit, and then we eventually moved to Discord. Oh yeah, I was. was. I hated. Group. So, it was a Skype group. There's a reason that I hated Discord track. when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Um, because I like I don't like change, and I guess that was change for me. But mm-hmm. the main reason was because I was recording a series. It was me, Cade, Alive mm-hmm. and Will, and Trepto, I think was his name. Mm-hmm. And we did um, what's that huge Minecraft map where there's like thirteen different areas? Um, ah. Uh, 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 it was like the biggest 1.8 Minecraft map that that was ever made. I don't remember. It was uh uh alive uh, I don't uh know, like Captive Minecraft. Minecraft. Maps much. Oh, it was, it was Captive Minecraft. Right. And okay. we, he was uh eleven. Was like, dude, we should get on. We should get Discord. And at mm-hmm. this time, either it was only like a browser thing, like there was no actual mm-hmm. app for Discord. Well, this, the Discord app is basically just a browser. Right. Or <laughs> it was – or I just didn't download the Discord browser, and mm-hmm. it people kept cutting out, and we sounded really weird, and I wasn't – it it I just didn't like it. So we never – I, I was, like, resenting Discord until we made the Discord server, and <clears> then <throat> I was like, really okay. But then we had to make everyone else get Discord because by this time, none of us had Discord. So yeah. Cade was like, let's try Discord. I was like, okay. There's like, he's like, there's more moderation. There's not this just huge long chat of just random crap. So we have to like, because in, mm-hmm. in Skype, there was no way to moderate your chat. You had to like yeah. prevent, Anything you had to like tell everyone like, don't chat in this unless you have something important to say because we need to keep all the announcements and stuff in the server. And if we don't, if you chat a lot, then it'll be take a long time to find it. And mm-hmm. so, but with Discord, we're like, hey, we don't have separate chats. So you have announcements and then, like, your general random chat. We're like, wow, that's pretty cool. And, like, roles and stuff. Yeah, and roles. Also, with, with Skype groups, anyone could change, like, the picture. And the title. And you, the anyone title. could add anyone. Oh. Yeah. It was free range. Everyone was administrator, basically. Mm-hmm. Do you remember those Skype chats where, like, one person would add a 50,000 contacts oh to it? Gosh, yes. Uh, and you just, you like, you tried as fast as you can to just quit it. You're like, quit, leave. Yes. <laughs> Especially since, like, it would kill my computer, too, because uh-huh. I had a really yep. crap computer. And so it was like, Ooh. no, no, please, please, my computer's literally going to explode. The it's going to catch on fire like computer. Elbows did. My com- Wait, what? Did his hard drive actually catch on fire? Yes, it it legit oh. melted. He sent me a picture. Oh, I thought he was just, I thought it was, like, No, 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 his he hard drive literally melted to whatever it's How? plugged into. What the hell? You must I, have gotten, like, some weird, cheap Chinese SATA cable. He Jeez. said – I think he was saying – I don't even know what he was – what his reasoning was for why it happened. He probably bought, like, some really off-brand, cheap Molex adapter. Maybe. Didn't you, you help me make my computer, Jim? Uh, I did. I'm pretty sure I'm the reason you have the case because I have the same case as you. <laughs> Huh. It's sitting literally right next to my leg. Wasn't it you and Jab that made? I know Jab like yeah. did yeah. a lot of it, but it didn't. Didn't you help him? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, I remember that now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, thank um, you. It's worked so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, geez. It's probably. I'm pretty sure it's much more powerful than mine uh, at the moment. I think so. Uh, man, next time. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've already started like. Planning your next computer? Yeah. Well, planning what I want to upgrade next. Not really because I'm necessarily unhappy with this, but just because it's fun, you know? It's better. It's fun. Yeah. I think mine was $1,600. Oh, my gosh. Mine was like $450. Oh, my gosh. I super budgeted the crap out of it. I'm really happy with, like, how much performance it gets. Yeah. Because you you had your, your plan built your computer for years right yeah and it took years, you how long did it eventually years. take you to get it like a two year years. and a half two years i started when i was like 11 and i got it when i was 13 and i'm 13 now nice so that's like two years yeah Ooh, that's a long time 
Yeah. <laughs> Just generally getting the parts over time took a very long time. Mm-hmm. Mine just took me a summer because I worked for that summer. I was and so paranoid when I was building it, though. And so I feel like what? it wasn't as fun as it could have been when I was building it because I was so scared something would go wrong. <laughs> because if I knew if, if I damaged anything, it would take another, like, five months to get the part again. Mm-hmm. At least. So it was like, but I, honestly, I really overestimated how fragile computer parts are, honestly. Oh, yeah. They're pretty like I've happy. seen, I've seen people rub their freaking hands on ram pins, and then it work like later, like ugh, cringe. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> what was it? It was when my dad and I were building our, when my dad Rachel and I were building my PC, um, mm-hmm. the little CPU oh, chip. No. I don't know what you call it. Uh huh. CPU. But, just say CPU. Yeah, the, the the CPU came, and for those of you who don't know what it looks like, uh, it's just a f- it's it's flat on top but on the underneath it has a bunch like hundreds and hundreds of li- tiny little like metal prongs almost that stick down well it depends what cpu you get which do you have an amd cpu you bought i don't know <laughs> you know more my pc than i do honestly <laughs> because if it's an intel cpu it has a metal pad instead of pins. yeah it was intel it has pins on the bottom and the socket like, the socket that the CPU goes in has pins always, but, like, the... Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. Anyway, one of those pins was bent. So, oh. my dad had to get, like... Tweezers. I, he Tweezers. Like, he had a magnifying glass and had to, like, bend it back in yeah. place. It took him, like, an hour to do. Dude, you're lucky your CPU works after that, honestly. Yeah, it's... it. No problems. How but, did it... How did it get bent? I have no idea. It but like it was just t- one tiny little prong that was bent, so my dad had to bend it back. I, it must have been an AMD CPU, though, because Intel CPUs don't have prongs, I'm pretty sure. That's weird. Oh, well, here, let me just open it up and check. <laughs> just honestly, go to, fi- um, go to File Explorer, go to this PC, and then click Computer, and click System Properties. That and I'm looking for you your what? CPU. Processor under processor, Intel Core TM i7. Okay. Yeah, that's all I needed to know. Yeah, okay. huh? That's weird. I guess maybe they have pins and I'm just wrong. I don't know. I think you're wrong, honestly. I know. I mean, I know my computers. I know everything about them. Mm-hmm. I know. I well, I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I didn't know that. Yeah, I I surprise a lot of people. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, knowing how to like restart Wi-Fi, that just blows people's minds, honestly. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, wait, what what did you just say? What's a Wi-Fi? How did you do that? <laughs> What's a Wi-Fi? <laughs> do you ever have to deal with that with like your grandparents and like do you ever have to explain technology to them? Uh my, my grandparents are just... Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm the I'm the youngest out of three uh kids. Oh gotcha. So they weren't really alive very long in my life. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't even know you had brothers and sisters. Yeah, I have one brother, one sister. My sister just turned twenty recently. Oh, my so there's is... like a a big gap. And my brother is like twenty five, twenty six, something like that. Oh, so that okay, that makes more sense because this is like yeah. a huge gap. Yeah, it is a huge gap. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, so, yeah, um, kinda... do you have to ever explain it to old people? Um, not really. My parents are surprisingly not as out of touch as a lot you of You just called your parents people. old, Jam. Well, I mean, they're 50, 60. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being old. <laughs> against old people? What the heck, dude? <laughs> okay. what, what are you implying? I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying people don't usually want to be called old. Well, they, they too bad. They should embrace it. They're old. <laughs> <laughs> just, just live with it. You're old. Cool. You have knowledge. You have. Okay. You have so like. Infinite wisdom. At the middle school. Yesterday, I'm two days ago, I don't remember when it was, but. <laughs> old people are smart, dude. They, uh, they do, they do have some wisdom on. But at the middle school the other day, the students. It, I don't know how it came over conversation, but like, they asked me. 
they were, I don't know, they were asked, I, I think they were asking me, like, are you going to go, yeah, yeah, okay, so it was my last day, and they're like, oh, where are you going now, are you going to go work, and my teacher was like, no, he's going to college, and they're like, why are you going to college, and she was like, how old do you think he is, and one of them was like, 35, <laughs> <laughs> That's older than my teacher, than the teacher that was in the classroom. Ooh. Are you like, and I thought I was see? older than she was. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe, like, that, maybe they thought she was in her 50s or something. Are you like 19? I'm 18, yeah. Oh my god. They're like, I think he's 35. I'm like, I only have one gray hair. Please stop. My mom pulled it out of my head wow. when she was cutting my hair. Well, you have gray hair in 19. And singular gray hair, yeah. Oh, well, it probably had, like, dust on it or something, honestly. <laughs> it was weird. But, no, it was definitely gray. It was, it was a strange thing. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, when hairs are gray, they don't have the chemical that puts color, so. I mean, you could have that one disease. That one disease. Which doesn't actually affect your quality of life, but it just adds a bunch of patches to your skin. I don't have that. Yeah, uh, Michael Jackson had it. Oh, yeah, then he, like, turned his skin white on purpose? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was it was the, it was patches of his skin were turning white, and so he just completely made himself all white. He like just... bleached his skin. Yeah. It doesn't affect your quality of life, and your skin feels completely fine. It's completely healthy. It just looks different. It's weird. Basically, use the pigment or whatever that makes your skin colored. Yeah, and just like did that all over. Which I'm pretty sure, if you're white, by the way, you probably wouldn't even know if you had it because your skin already doesn't have pigment. Maybe. Or, like, whatever the chemical is. Or you'd be, like, super white, like albino. You just, you, you just have a bunch of white hairs. Because uh, the same stuff goes into your hair, too, to color it. So your hair would be white in those patches. But other than that, your skin would be normal. I, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> no. Let me just, let me just uh, examine my hair on camera. I just, do, you, do you guys see anything? I mean, honestly, all my arm hair is white. That's because you're young. I'm not old, so. Yeah. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> like me. 30, yeah. 35 over here. Yeah, you freaking 35 year old. Gosh dang. <laughs> oh, look uh, at this. Wow, you're freaking old, dude. Get out of my way. <laughs> Get out of my way? 30, what? 30 honestly isn't even that old. It's not. When you're when you're young, you're like, oh my gosh, young. 20 is like ancient. And now I'm, li I'm 18. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you know. 60s probably a little 60s probably getting older yeah 60s but you can still do whatever you want no, nothing wrong with a that. lot of the time just just like just like being gay there's nothing wrong or at least that's what they say what <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying at this point <laughs> so jam uh, yes what do you think of the new minecraft update oh uh, what you mean uh 1.13 or 1.14 1.14 Oh, yeah, it has the crafting stuff, doesn't it? It has the... I don't know any about that. I'm barrel. just talking about, like, the villagers, the new village update. Oh, yeah, the villagers look sick, dude. I haven't seen any pictures, but I've heard they look a whole lot different. It and looks... then there's, like, this beast or something that attacks villages now? Yeah, the, the pillagers. Uh, village, the pillagers, like, pillage villages at some points, and you have to, like, fight off raids. Say that stuff. five times fast. P wait, what? Say the what pillagers time? pillage villagers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to do that. The pillage pillages the pi the, the pillagers <laughs> pillage villagers. The pillage the the, the pillagers pillage villages. The pillagers, the pillagers pillage, pillage villagers. The pillagers villagers. Pi <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. It's, there's no point in trying that, honestly. <laughs> that's that's an epic XD gamer tongue twister. Oof. But yeah, Oof. so that's yeah, gonna be pretty interesting, I think. Uh huh, and they also have the disenchanter too. You can remove enchantments from your weapons. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Do you get the book or whatever? Um, or does it book? just remove the enchantment? Oh no, 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 no! I think it just removes the enchantment. Gives that's like still great. Something. Yeah, because like because I have like a want... blast protection Although, for turtle helmet. You, you can't remove uh, the curses though with it. Curses stay. That's fine. You don't really get a whole lot of yeah. those. I mean, I mean, that's the point. That kind of balances out the curses because they're not supposed to go away. Right. And you don't really get like I never I don't ever have to worry about having gear with that enchantment because you only get it in like uh, end cities and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
Which is it's sad because you can get like really good gear in end cities that have curses on them. It's like, up oh, has curse of binding. Oh. Well, I can't take this off ever. I just glued America's... it to my forehead. Well, it's, it's here yeah. now. If I take it I off, mean, I just honestly... gotta rip off my scalp. I guess it'll be worth it. I mean, honestly, though, like, if, if you... If you have, if it has like really good enchantments and it's diamonds, I probably would just put Curse of Binding on. Like Curse of Binding is not the worst curse. Yeah, Curse of Binding is like, really bad. Because like, why would you take it off anyway? Yeah, like unless you want to like do a sumo wrestle or something. Or show your skin. Ah, uh, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be hard to do in an SMP because like if you get a new skin, you're like, hey guys, look at my skin. Oh wait, I'm, and I stapled all this armor to my to my chest. I can't take it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, unless you have, like, a bunch of XP, you can also just kill yourself. That's true. Although I'm pretty sure it makes it disappear. No, it doesn't make it disappear. It just drops it on the ground where you'd be oh, dead. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, wait. That would be Curse of Vanishing. Yeah, Curse right. of Vanishing makes it disappear when you die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. But you can take it, it off, so. You know, six you of one, half it. a dozen the other. <laughs> Are you doing Super Saiyan Jam? <laughs> no, that was my, that was not my final form. <laughs> <Not my favorite. laughs> did you ever watch anime as a kid or oh, now i guess did you i ever watch still anime? watch anime you do yeah okay fun oh my gosh good segue actually fun story oh ho, ho. good story um, oh my gosh is story? what is that on my keyboard <laughs> oh you i just you what is you it's like gunk what is on my tab button is that toothpaste <laughs> Why would there be toothpaste up here? Why would you just brush your teeth in front of the computer or something? You have to watch a tutorial or something, Jam? I, I don't. That's why I'm so confused. Hold up, let me. I can't brush my teeth yet, Mom. I gotta pull up the tutorial. Okay. Insert, <laughs> insert no, toothbrush I gotta, in I gotta mouth. Play. I gotta get these epic kills while I brush my teeth. <laughs> oh I my can't, gosh. I gotta be productive, Mom. Ew. But anyways, um. So, my family, ever since before I was even born, has had a tra tradition of watching an episode of Naruto every Saturday. What? Every Saturday after our church thing that we do, because we have our own church thingy. We like sit a cult down as ritual? A family. You watch Naruto after church? We do <laughs> <laughs> it at our house. We have, like, all the equipment and stuff. Uh, so, we sit down after it, and we just sit down and watch an episode of Naruto. Hmm. And we've done that for years, and there's so much filler in Naruto that we have been doing it more than my entire lifetime. You're still We're watching just it? Now. Yes, still. <laughs> We're just now getting near the end of the series. And oh. we there's still a new series after this that is coming out. And it's been 13 years? Yeah, more than 13 years. Wait, okay, so they started watching it before. So when you yeah, were born... Yeah, the first Naruto series, and then... As soon after that, they, I, I think I finished it at some point and started watching Shippuden, which is the second Naruto series. It basically continues the first one. Okay. As adults hmm. and stuff. And we have still been watching it ever since. And oh my god. It's a, it's a great show, though. I mean, I still haven't gotten tired of it. I haven't, I've never gotten to Naruto, but I really liked... Um, there's like three main animes that I liked. Well, mm -hmm. you, could, you could say it. But Avatar... People say it's an anime, other people don't say it's an anime. Mm -hmm. But I really loved Avatar, obviously, because it's the best um, ever. Yeah, I watched a bit of Avatar as a kid, but I don't really remember that much. Uh, we, Rachel and I just watched the whole series really honestly, fairly recently, like three or four months ago. Honestly, I recommend watching Naruto. The only reason it's taken us this long is doing it once a week is very different from like binge-watching 14 episodes a day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, you probably get it finished under a year by doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely under one year, watching 14 episodes a day for 365 days. I'm sure you'll yeah. eventually finish it. Yeah. Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Okay, no, not maybe. Definitely. <laughs> There's like only 700 episodes. Only? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. There's like maybe 100 in Avatar. Uh, but also there's this show, uh, you know, first of all, do you know Rooster Teeth? Yes. Uh, do you know Ruby? No. It's spelled R. Well, basically, that's when it comes on, out on DVD. We start watching them alongside Naruto every Saturday. Nice. So that's kind of an anime. I mean, kind of. It's a 3D animation <laughs> that is anime style. 
can be made in America. But, I mean, Rooster Teeth calls it anime. Hmm. <laughs> so. I mean, it must be true. It's Rooster Teeth. Aren't they I the mean, ones yeah. that created that um that Halo series? Yeah, red, white, red versus blue. Yeah, that was by Monty. Monty also made Ruby. Hmm. And I never. Monty... I I watched a few episodes of, of Red yeah, versus Blue, but um, I never got really into it. Yeah, I remember. I started watching Ruby with my family so when it came out in like 2013 or something. Mm-hmm. First of all, the animation has really improved since then. You're like watching the first seasons, it's like amazing. But uh, the original guy who created it also created Red vs. Blue, which is that Halo thing you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And he ended up dying after Volume 2 of Ruby. Like, of, actually uh, died? Yeah, he died. He passed away because mm-hmm. of a medical... like a, I think he had an allergic reaction to like an antibiotic or something in a checkup. Oh. So he just randomly died. No, and that's, that's not... That's not very normal. Yeah. Although, um, well, it's Japan, though. So I've heard they don't have as amazing... <laughs> as amazing Medicare as us. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, we do not have amazing Medicare either. But, uh, I mean, no, no country has perfect Medicare, obviously. Like, that's... Continue so jam. Yeah. Anyways... Wait, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, oh yeah, he he had written a bunch of volumes, like probably I think he said forty volumes he had written out, and so they're still continuing it with uh, the new animators and stuff hmm. with the original writing because he wrote ahead so much. That's so it's cool. on volume six right now. Hmm. So they're still continuing his stuff and. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And honestly, the show has improved a lot. <laughs> Even though, you know, the main guy died. Because he did, like, not only the animation, but the writing and stuff. Gotcha. So he did a lot. Yeah, that would be a lot. Yeah, that is definitely a lot. Oh my gosh, there's dust on the keyboard. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh my I God. use this every day. How is there dust? <laughs> How is... I mean... I... I'm not surprised there's dust on the volume up and down buttons because I never use them. But like, that's true. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, camera, no. refocus. Camera. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> there we go. So I do occasionally also just I've picked up like two whole anime series besides that that I binge watched in like a couple days. Oh my gosh. And that's about it. So I'm not an avid anime watcher, but if I find a good anime, I'll watch it. The only anime I've currently... watched are mm. Avatar, like I said. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if it was Dragon Ball Z Ooh, or Dragon Ball Z. Kind of, but I watched Dragon the first. Dragon Ball Z is good. For Dragon Ball but Z, I've watched the first like three or four seasons, I think. But then mm. I just, I just drifted away from it. Yeah. Fair enough. But um, Yu-Gi-Oh, I watched the first full, like, or the original Yu-Gi-Oh, not like Yu-Gi-Oh GX or whatever other stuff they have. a singular anime currently that's airing right now. It's on, like, episode 11 out of 13, <laughs> and they release an episode every Wednesday. I don't really watch anime much, but, like, it's honestly so good. Huh. If you're okay with, like, slightly, it, like, not, eh, but, like, you know, dirty jokes. Ah. But it's anime. Japanese culture, of course, you're gonna get that. <laughs> we're, we're copying. We're talking about anime. You're not gonna. You're not gonna expect anything more from them. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if anyone's Japanese and watching, you're cool. <laughs> you're cool. Just uh, you make you're weird cool. animations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say it, but I mean, he said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> anything i said absolutely nothing just for the record so how do you like the new csgo update oh oh you mean the uh battle 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 royale a battle royale what do you yeah. think of it oh my gosh yeah so i've i've been like csgo has been my main game since like the beginning of the year maybe late 27 no i got it in the beginning of the year i played counter-strike source in late 2017 before i got CSGO. oh through family sharing because I didn't have money. <laughs> that was the next Oof. best thing. You can't you can't play CS:GO over family sharing because you know obviously hackers and stuff will use family sharing. That'd be bad. But uh, anyways, 
Yeah, CSGO went free to play, first of all, before we get into the best for last, which is like Battle Royale. But yeah, they went free to play, so anyone can buy the, or not buy, just download the game. You can buy it for free. <laughs> Although you can't, you can buy Prime Matchmaking, and anyone who had the game gets Prime Matchmaking, so you're matched with people who bought the game. So, you, so you're not going to be matched with the millions of hackers who will just download the game and constantly download the alts and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Prime used to be um, like the, when the game was not free to play. Prime matchmaking was basically you'd have to play the game enough to reach lieutenant rank twenty one, and you'd have to pair a phone number with your account. Hmm. So if you ever got banned with that phone number connected, you can never use that phone number again. Ooh. But they kind of ended up removing that in place for the free to play versus people who bought the game slash bought Prime. Because now Prime is just the same price as the game was before it went free to play. Gotcha. So, yeah, there's a, definitely an influx of hackers coming into the free to play range. But at the same time, people have also been bringing up the point that it might lessen the hackers in the Prime matchmaking. Because now they can just download the game and play the free version. Yeah. And mess with people there and just get banned and make new accounts and stuff. Hmm. But, the anyways, the Battle Royale. First of all, it's definitely not necessarily like a like a new Fortnite or PUBG. It's it's in true CS:GO nature is fast paced, and it's more just a casual game where you can play on the side of the actual game. But it is pretty fun. Uh, it's really fast paced. Like the maps are not very big. There's only sixteen to eighteen players, depending on if you play solo or squads. Hmm. That's really and... small, actually. Not like a hundred like the others. Yeah, no, 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 it's not like 30-minute games. Games usually last around 10 minutes. Hmm. And ammo is very scarce. And as the game progresses, you can get better and better guns and stuff. You can also pick up money around the map and buy stuff. Hmm. Except when you buy stuff, an Amazon drone comes and delivers it to you. <laughs> and that's pretty great, but at the same time, drones follow you so it can also expose your location so you have to play that wisely interesting they drop it immediately above your head too so if you're like inside a house it'll drop it on the roof so you want to be careful about that oh um but oh, i saw a video of someone apparently it follows your tablet which is the little thing that has the map and the buy menu and stuff by the way if you you can drop your tablet and the drone will follow the tablet and you can actually fake people by doing that Oh, to make that's them think that you're standing there. And then you can like come back behind them and get a free kill. It's great. But anyways, that has the same CSGO mechanics. You have 120 health instead of 100 health. So you can't get instant headshots of like an AK or something. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still the same CSGO mechanics, but with a long-ranged map. Uh, the map was designed pretty well, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fun. It's You basically just hop in and then either lose or win. And then queue for another game i mean that's how it most games work you either lose or you win <laughs> yeah and it takes like 10 seconds to queue hmm. you're gonna meet pretty much immediately get into a game cool. uh so it's pretty it's pretty great we should we should totally queue for it right we now still haven't done that. well not now no well I'm like we're doing a q a now jam <laughs> no 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 q <laughs> like a q for the danger zone later oh by later, I'm, I don't necessarily mean today. I mean, just, like, at some point. Oh, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told but you we'll like, play it together. I just don't know when. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, you can buy armor and stuff, too, obviously. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. In Sounds pretty fun. It is pretty fun. It's, it's pretty great. It's pretty epic, epic. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jam, does your family go on vacation? Oh not really, although we have gone on vacation before. We always go to the beach, and mm. we go, like, towards the end of the season. So, like, right mm. before school, like, a week or two before the school, before school starts back. Mm. And it's really weird because I, since I was at uh, college over the summer, there was... Mm. A beat. I lived half. I uh, the the campus was half an hour from uh, Virginia Beach, so occasionally we would just hop in the car and just drive down there for the day. Um, mm. 
and hang out at the beach and stuff. And there was so many people. Oh my gosh, oh, there were so many people. But then like when me and my family went, um, we went to the beach and <laughs> there was like hardly anyone on the beach. Oh, wow. it, it was super, super less crowded. Is that right? Yeah, not as crowded. Yeah, where you you know what I'm without, you know what I'm saying. Super. Um, I didn't know what you said there because you just kind of like <laughs> extreme <laughs> voice crack. But yeah, it Epic. was really weird. And um, we would occasionally see dolphins down there. Oh. And... oh. oh wait, wait, wait. What? Sorry, I just tried to I just tried to mimic a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> so that's always fun to see dolphins and. Yeah. <laughs> the little kids, if they see the dolphins, or whatever, they're like, "Oh my gosh, it's a shark!" They're like, "No, uh, no." They actually eat sharks. Yeah, but they have different fins. Yeah, and they eat sharks too. So you shouldn't actually be scared of them. You should hop on their backs and ride them into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like an action, like a Tom Cruise action movie. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> with explosions <laughs> in the background as you're going to the sunset. <laughs> Michael Bay. <laughs> Michael Bay, featuring Michael Bay. Oh There's just like a random explosion and the torpedoes start <laughs> Shooting out of the you. dolphin's eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a machine. That is not a dolphin. Did you hear that? I hear what? That's not what bad, that? right? Oh, yeah, it isn't bad. Um, wow. There's like a weird deme- deme- domesticated demented dog out my window. What the heck is that? What's that? We <laughs> 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 just both sidetracked. <laughs> but I've, I've only been to the beach once. Really? Yeah. Oh, Even man. though I live in Florida. That's weird. I've only been to the beach once. Do you we usually go up to the really mountains or something? On vacation? Well, when we go on vacation, usually it's either I go to Colorado with my mom, or we go up to, like, uh, what's its face? Not San Francisco. What's it called? Tennessee. Hmm. So and you guys go, like, a, you guys go north like a cabin and try and go, like, to colder places. Uh, not necessarily colder, but more pretty and, um, you know, season-abiding places. <laughs> More pretty and less Literally, sand. Literally, in Florida, <laughs> in Florida, fall is pretty much starting. Oh, just or, now? Or in the middle. Basically, I mean, the trees are in the middle of turning colors. So do they lose their leaves and stuff still? Or I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really get cold outside at this time of year at all. Because hmm. it's Florida. Although, it, it, usually, there is like a cold part. A very cold part. Not very. Not cold enough for there to be snow. But cold enough to make you have to go outside with a jacket, and to get your car frosted occasionally. Oh my gosh! Sometimes, like two days out of the year, I have to go outside with my jacket on. <laughs> it's I, I can't deal with this. Pretty, I mean, not really, because I don't go outside. But... <laughs> <laughs> the, then there's the me dressed up here? in like, I've got like thermal pants, long underwear on, mm-hmm. three jackets, a hat and sweater. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Having to walk to my classes in the snow. Well, I do homeschool, so I don't go outside. Well, yeah, I did too, <laughs> but now I'm in college. College? You got college. You need more knowledge. Got to get that knowledge so I can buy a <laughs> Lamborghini. Yeah. Lamborghini. You got to get that. Oh, I was going to say something. Gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. The best we get here in Florida is, like, hail and, like, occasional Floridas or Floridas, flurries. Occasional <laughs> so... Floridian flurries. We get some, it's a like, famous very, blizzard. Very rare floor flurries in like weird parts of Florida near like airports and stuff. Hmm. Um, but the last time it actually snowed in Florida was literally before the year two thousand. Didn't it? But didn't it snow last year? It might have flurried t- tiny bit. In I think I remember someone saying something. They're like, it hadn't snowed but in Florida I mean, for like, like twenty years, and then it snowed a few yeah. years ago or something. Like it was super recently. Well. It may have snowed, but nothing like it was in, like, the 1990-something snow. It was, like, inches of snow. Not just, like, a like, little flurry here and there, you know, like, actual snow. That like, you can make legit snowmen. snow? Like snow I have? Like snowmen snow. Like snowmen snow. Like the snow. Like that you can like, make angels whoa. in. 
Angel snowmen? Yeah, and you can make angels in the snowmen, too. You can put, like, you can build a snowman and then make an angel in the snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Snowmen give birth to angels? Yeah, pretty much. That's <laughs> basically how snow works, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So do you um, ever, like, have you seen snow? I mean, that's kind oh, of Oh, yeah, weird. yeah. I went up to Cal- Colorado. Okay, Col- well, I don't know what time of year, because, like, some, like... It was snowing in there while we were at Colorado. Gotcha, and okay. It was great. It was my first experience with snow. <laughs> that's Although, so honestly, weird to think of to think of that, because, like, me and my dad were driving up uh, to my grandparents' house, and it was snowing, mm-hmm. and there was just this family parked on the side of the road mm-hmm. playing in the snow, throwing snowballs at each other. And as we drove by, we looked at the license plate, and it said Florida. We're just like, wow. <laughs> Is this like their first experience with snow? That's so weird. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they, just, they were on the side of the interstate. There was just like a flat patch of land, so they were out and playing in the snow. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was pretty fun and magical and stuff. But at the same time, it's also like, it's not my first time seeing ice, you know? Right. Like, you kind of get a general idea of how the texture in this is going to be. But it's still like, oh, I've seen this in TV all at all my life. <laughs> I've seen this in the movies. <laughs> I've seen this in the movies. This is it's literally magical right now. Just literal pillow fluff everywhere yeah. across the streets. Also, when Rachel came over, um, when we built the snowman and did that video, she, at the mm-hmm. very beginning, she had, you could see her holding a thing of snow and then uh-huh. some <laughs> maple syrup. And that's just, uh-huh. that she was just eating snow with maple syrup. What? It was a little what? weird, but apparently she does that, does that a lot. I've never well, done it. I've never done snow cream just, either. A lot of people make snow just, cream, but I'm just like, it's just, it doesn't taste the same. It's not as good. It's just ice. Snow yeah. is just glorified ice. <laughs> glorified ice. You're literally just eating maple syrup. With water. Cold maple syrup with water. Yeah. Crystalline uh, maple syrup. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's the appeal. Maybe people just like cold with maple syrup. You know? Although I do, I do totally just eat snow. I'll just sit there and just eat snow for like ten minutes. Ew, no, I'd never want to eat snow. You know, you don't know where that's been. It's white and clean. It fell from the sky. Yeah, but it's also been in the dirt. Well, that's why you don't. That's why you touch the. You get the top part. You don't get the bottom well, part where the dirt it is. Could have been taken from the top. You never know. I mean, if it literally just fell, then maybe yeah. But like, I don't know. I've never got that. Honestly, the entire state of Florida would shut down if it snowed for real. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, we don't sell any, like, snowproof wheels that work in the snow. Snowproof so, wheels? Y- y- you know what I mean. Those little things with the blades or whatever that grip onto snow better. Yeah, they have, like, little little nubbies we on the end of the We bags. don't have those here. So the police force would shut down. <laughs> the crime would go rampant. Move. It would be the purge in Florida. No one knows how to drive in snow here. Uh, but obviously, because snow never happens here. So right, I can believe that. People would probably drive off of bridges a lot. <laughs> everyone you would could, die yeah everyone would die unless they stayed inside which is what we should do in Florida anyways <laughs> we should uh, just never leave our houses <laughs> yeah I mean we let should let Amazon deliver I mean, all of our food and necessities we'll be like the people on Wally. Florida man eats snow <laughs> I can totally see that as big a headline though honestly <laughs> yeah, Florida, Florida man eats food <laughs> wow we are such weird people over here Florida man drinks water. Florida while sitting man down. eats snow while wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> Florida man pees while sitting down. Oh! <laughs> no, I actually pee while sitting down. I know Anthony. He, we we've talked about that before. He's like he only pees <laughs> sitting down. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can pee sitting up, but like it's more comfortable sitting down. You don't have to rely on your legs. You can just sit down and relax. Yeah, but then like <laughs> the if ultimate. You're, well, if you're in like a public restroom, relaxing. do you sit down or stand up? It really depends. I mean, it depends. Some the water in the toilet is like super high up. I wouldn't even want to sit down to poop in those <laughs> because like I feel like my would touch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, just, I feel like I'd get water all over myself. Toilet water. Disgusting. Who knows what's in that water? Toilet right, water. Right, right. So it's like, 
I might as well poop while standing up in those toilets, you know? Poop while standing up? <laughs> I've never been able to do that successfully, by the way. Have you tried? <laughs> no. Why would you try that? I don't... I don't know. Pooping while standing up. It, it, I've not, well, I mean, I've tried. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, well, it's really real. I was like, is this possible? I mean, I've been... <laughs> sit down all my life like think about it oh like, i my need goodness. actual logical reasoning behind why i should poop while sitting down and i got it it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't trust me it really, i mean maybe it does but i didn't try enough and i didn't oh. want to know <laughs> <What is> some <laughs> people wipe while standing up that's what i don't get i used to do it when i was young and well, then like yeah. i realized that that was just it was less effective yeah, it's like what the, your butt cheeks are like <laughs> together. It doesn't help anything. Like, and some people reach around from the front and wipe. My friend was saying he does that. I'm like, no, that's, that's wrong. That's so weird. That's so that's wrong. That that's so inefficient. You have to go past everything else. To get <laughs> yeah, and then if you like accidentally miss, you don't bring it down far enough. You just wipe poop on. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty much. <laughs> So, my friend... How do you... Wait, I have an important question, actually. Oh, yeah, what's your question? Keep that thought. But how do you fold your toilet paper? Uh, I do it in, like, fourths. I get four... If it's, like, at my house or whatever, where it has, like, designated square sections, I get a section of four and then fold it twice. So it's just one sheet, but four thick. What I do is I take three and fold them into, like, one square. I wipe, fold it into a door... That's, that's what I was always taught. Fold it into a door, wipe, fold it into a smaller square, wipe. And sometimes if I need to be really conservative, if there's like not much toilet paper left, I fold it again. Oh my gosh. And that, that I mean, either way, you're going to have to wash your hands. So it's like. Right. <laughs> I used to do that with, um, with like baby wipes. It's like, you know, you only live once. I've never used baby wipes and apparently I don't think i want to because i've heard really bad horror stories about it clogging up sewer systems and stuff it's even with flushable ones that's why you just don't flush them well but then it's in your trash can and it's sitting there it's not gonna smell it'll smell like baby wipes i mean fair enough but i mean i usually use baby wipes for like cat throw up it still still feels like a kind of a waste why would you use it for cat throw up because you know cat throw up stains yeah, we need no. you need you need yourself some Norwex. Some what? It's a product my mom sells. It's cleaning stuff. It works well. Oh, oh speaking of cleaning stuff in moms. <laughs> uh, my, parents... my mom never cleans the house. I live in a pigsty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, my parents well, actually kind of the opposite. My parents run a cleaning business. Hmm. They clean other people's uh, houses around the state. Well, not the state, but the city. Right. No, the state. Stuff. Like, they go from the panhandle all the way to the key, Florida Keys just to clean their house. Yeah, jeez. They have, like, a bunch of customers, and they make enough money to, you know, pay the bills and stuff. Yeah. And we don't, we live in a full-on house, too. <laughs> As opposed to just, like, half of a house? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, an apartment or something. Like, they yeah, make yeah, enough I gotcha. money. But the way you said it, it's like, we live in, a, like, a full house. It's not like, like, like... It's not like one of those villager houses in Minecraft that gets cut off. It's like a whole well, speaking house. Speaking of the villager houses, by the way, they changed the villages too. I know, I heard about that. I haven't, I haven't seen they any pictures or anything, but I did hear different. they changed it. They look completely different. My butt is so sweaty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but what just happened? What was that noise? You said that right as I took a drink of water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you getting nervous talking to viewers, Jam? <laughs> no, I'm thinking of other things. Oh, you know, I'm going to put my eclipse glasses on. You're going to what? My eclipse glasses, you know. Oh, I never got any of those, actually. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the thing is, eclipse is barely, like, the eclipses are sort of rare. So it's like, you're, like, if you buy one, you're either going to lose it. Or just forget where it is. Or wait, no, that's the exact same thing. <laughs> you're all, you, know, you're, you have you're, two you're options. Probably... You're either going to lose it or forget <laughs> where it is. 
Uh, Kowalski <laughs> analysis. <laughs> Kowalski. Say the N word. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, like, you're probably just going to lose it by the time an eclipse happens. So it's like. Or just die. Usually you, usually you buy it right before an eclipse happens. Uh, but basically, like, you can't see crap through them except for an eclipse. Yeah. Like, all you like see is you... just a ball of light. They look. They're really, like. Yeah. Boring. Yeah, that's literally all you see because it blocks so much question. Like, like, I'm looking at my monitor, I literally just see blackness right now. Like, it's actually very efficient and technology is great. Uh, but yeah, use this in my, by the way, upcoming 100 subscriber special. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, you should go check my YouTube link in description. Absolutely. Link in bio. I gotta say link in bio for the epic sellout uh, effect. You have to use bio if you want to sell it correctly. Bio? Like biography? Logan Paul says that. He says link in bio. What's a bio? No. Exactly. No, a biography it's is a like... It's a book. It's a description. No, a bio. He says link in bio. It's like, no, it's a description. What do they use a bio for? Both Jake Paul and Logan Paul say merchant bio. Hold on. I'm going to look up what bio means. Well, you're going to find like by gender probably okay bio a biographical or short biographical profile of someone yeah or... exactly that's what i thought it was it, it like, was why did it exclusive that? from her official bio material or watch, by like biographical. a logan paul video or jake paul video and i guarantee you first of all they're gonna uh, say it because they promote their merch all the time but <laughs> in the first like maybe 30 seconds of the video they'll say it it's so what the heck you know it's wrong why it's, it's wrong. wrong yeah it's description. It's description. It's yeah. Bio is about bio is like is like you're an Instagram. Like how you have that little short spiel yeah. of like a hundred and twenty yeah, like characters. Under your twi- like your Twitter bio or something. Yeah, yeah, that's a bio. Yeah. It's like what you kinda get Unless it. unless they actually want people to go to YouTube and then go to their about section. No, they don't. They they're talking about the description. It's not <laughs> Like, why would you point viewers to your bio, which requires you to click on their channel, then click on the about page, and you can just make them scroll down? Like, Ad- they're a little that dumb. Make sense. They're dumb. They're weird. They're dumb. Yeah, they are dumb. They're strange humans. <clears throat> oh man. But uh, what were we talking about? I have no idea. Something about eclipse clack. You were just saying that you you just grabbed them. You're like, oh, I have my yeah. eclipse clack. Plugged my YouTube channel. Yeah. I don't remember what I said before I plugged my YouTube channel. I have no idea. Well, Jam, we've been going for like uh, about almost an hour. You about ready to end it? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me if so. You've got energy either way. All right. Well, I think we're going to end it here. Okay. So. Well, first we got to, you know, promote each other. Well, I know. Come down. I'm going to do that, Jam. <laughs> got to add my Twitter in there, too. <laughs> So thank y'all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And um, make sure to check out Jam on YouTube and Twitter. And uh, what else do you want to plug, Jam? Plug away. Go. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay, just YouTube and Twitter. Oh no, no, Twitch, 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 Twitch. And Twitch, Twitch. and Twitch. Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jam Doggy. So uh, I'll put those in the description. Links will be in the description. Check them out. Also check me out on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and um uh MySpace. Google Plus. No one ever uses Google Plus. Ew, why did you say Google Plus? It's the Google worst. Plus is shutting down. Is it really? In like April. Yeah. That they makes had a sense, massive it's just data awful. breach. They had a massive data breach and instead of like, you know, getting past it, that like they just kind of admitted that sites never really used anyways and it just Yeah, no, it's it's the, it, it sucks. just stands as another chance for hackers to get people's information. <laughs> Cuz it literally has no other use. Yeah. Well, anyway, Make sure to follow us and subscribe and all those fun things and all those different links. It'll be in the description. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Also if you guys like enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. And, uh, yeah, thank you for guys for watching. We'll see you guys the bell. in another video. Bye. Bye.